Oh, look at this. Nice. That's like a pretty good size one. Perfect big size. Oh, nice. Hey guys, this is Hallie with Back Fishing, guys. Um, anyways, I went shad fishing this morning. I wanted to do a, a shad report and uh, met this guy um, down there. His name is Donald. He said uh, he uses you know, shad for, for sturgeon bait and he fishes on the Willamette as well. So he uses whole shad for bait. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to um, find out what he was talking about because nobody does that unless you're in the falls, right? But anyways, uh, he invited me tonight that he's gonna go to his spot to use that shed that he caught. So, kind of interesting. Uh, but anyways, I went and met him, and uh, here's the footage. Oh, is it? That's fresh shed from this morning. Yep. So the best thing to do, you want to pull that hook through because you want as much hook exposed as possible. And yeah. then you want that hook, that eye, that hook down in there. So you just half hitch. I'm going to do two half hitches per spot. So I'm going to go like that. Yeah, that way it stays on. Yeah, so the first one sets the half hitch and then the second one secures it. Like that. And I'm going to do that all the way down on all these little... Yeah. Imagine when you edit the video, you could probably fast forward this. I, I have a buddy that um, fishes the Dalles. They have a, a charter thing, but... Never seen it done on the bank? Yeah, yeah, I'd like to see some big oversized come out of here. That would be so cool. So this, one, this bait will pull, pull them in. About the same size bait as I just dropped out there. Yeah, they swallow it head first too. Mm -hmm. Yep, they go head first and that's why... Yep, it's been a bitch to drop baits out because it wants to push me way down river so I have to go way up river up there to drop it. Or I don't make it out there. Whose boat? Oh, I don't know. I'm trying to use up as much of this leader as possible. Yeah, it's pretty long. Made it a little long. Normally I make it 12 feet, I made it 15. So I figured I was using a little bit bigger shad, I might as well. Yeah. So on the end ones, I'm just gonna do a couple extra half inches. I'm gonna do three or four. And actually, that's not too bad. So I think I'm gonna leave it just like that. That's yeah. Good. That's, that's, that's nice. all right. That's ready to go. It's gonna, nope, not yet. I'm gonna go ahead and take my knife. I'm just gonna cut it off here and that just creates scent. Now watch what happens when I cut it. When I cut it. Yeah, the spine. It'll it'll it'll, it'll start bleeding yeah. once it starts kind of. Yeah. This is one that I actually set in the freezer for oh no, I almost, uh, yes. Here's a knife you want to Alright. Ready to set and drop it out there. Yep. Alright. Remember when I caught that fish today? I said, oh this is about on the high or this is on the the high side, you know what I'm saying? Yep.
that we gotta wait until this boat's boat passes by he doesn't want to cut his line and there's another zodiac coming uh, on on the left side so i'm gonna zoom zoom out now and show you how far he's at and here comes the, the zodiac way back. No, no, it's not. But I want to bounce it, make sure it's make sure the lead is caught up with the bait. Okay. Yeah. I think that bait's just the perfect size. That's what I said. Remember when we were in Oregon City and I caught that bigger one? Yeah. When we were in Oregon City, I caught that one. I said it's probably a little too big. Yeah. I was right. It's kind of cool. Just five minutes from downtown. I've seen it for a while. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna jump. I think so. You never know. You feel some weight on it now? Oh yeah. <laughs> well, look, he's taking line now. Yeah. First time he's taking line. <laughs> Once you get edited, you can just. Put it on YouTube. Buddy fighting big sturgeon. Oh, yeah. I, I, I want to see it. Oh, look I, at I this. I want to see how it is after edited. Look at look this. I can't wait to see it after edited. <laughs> Whole shad, baby. Always oh, pulls through. It's going to be an hour. Oh yeah, this is a big fish. It's slowly coming. This, I bet it's all of eight, or at least, it's, it's at least all of seven. Or a fat six, it could be a fat six. Yeah. But if it's a six, it's really fat. All right, we were fishing for uh, bait this morning down in Oregon City. We got the whole bait, the whole shad. Now we hooked up on a pretty good size. Pretty good size surgeon. Oh yeah. I just found a big old chunk of spray. I gotta go easy on it now. I just found a chunk of spray from wherever it was grinding on. I got a baby in. Oh yeah, now he knows. Now he knows. Now he knows he's hurt, Tom. Brian! I'm gonna have to come to this corner. Yeah. Cause I don't want him to go into the sailboats because they got keels. Yeah. Get down in the boat, break them off. This is a big one. Well, you know, got 30 pounds. Oh, yeah. Going up river now. Now it's coming back down. Okay. Yeah, as long as he makes his little runs, get him a little tired, he'll, he'll come up. Yep. Once he turns upside down, then uh, you're, you're good. He'll go to sleep.
This is well over a keeper. Yeah. <laughs> this is not a keeper. If this is a keeper, then we're back to three to six. This is a this is a pig, bro. This might be eight foot. I can't wait to see this. I want to see it. Yeah. No, I'm just I like the finished product, the video. Finished product. Okay. Yeah. I want to see it. Whether you post it or just send it to me, you know. Yeah. No. Definitely. Pretty cool. Just be kind of. I've never, I've never been on I've never been on YouTube. Yeah, this might be the first time right here. If we, land it. If we don't land it, then no, oh, not worth yeah. it. No, no footage, man. No, you gotta land it. If he's just staying on the bottom right here, close to the dock, he's it's a big one. It's it's over eight. Yeah, right here. I don't guarantee it's over eight. Oh, it's gonna jump. Look, it's gonna jump. Hey guys, watch, watch, watch. Here we go. It's gonna jump. It's coming up. It's coming up. Look, the right, the line's rising in the air. Come on, jump up. So how do you, when you edit, how do you choose what to keep, what not to keep? I just cut it. I just cut, cut, it. cut it what I like, you know? Yeah. It's, it's kind of like, just kind of like art, you know, your, what catches your eye, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like right now, even though I'm talking with you, I, I can just make it silent and go fast and then cut out the audio. For sure. And just put some kind of music, you know? Yep. It's getting closer. It's a big one. Oh, he ain't done. No way. I, I have to run a light drag on him, Brian, because I felt fray in my line towards the end. And I don't want him to pop off. The fray is right. Should be coming up. He might jump. He might jump right by this. They like to come up right by the dock and jump. Right by the dock. Okay, the fray is inside the reel. The fray is in the reel. All right. There it comes. He's coming up. He's coming up. He's coming up. There he is. Ooh, good size. Woo! Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a fatty. Oh. Wow. What's his, what's his, uh, look at that. Damn, dude. No that was a big kid. I want to take it to the dock with the sailboat in my way. <laughs> yeah, once it, once, once it go out. Yeah, it, it's, yeah. Hey, um. And he can't take it out, okay. Yeah, he's gonna take it over to the beach. Oh, that's all he can do. Okay. Uh, yeah. He makes a run on the back of this dock, he'll be gone. He'll snap my line and gone. Alright. All right. Is he gone? All right, he's gone. Hey, that's the same one that broke me off. Remember the one that broke me off? I found my other swivel was in it now. Oh my God. <laughs> 